Well, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I am Steve the Gamble, and trying my hand at a little bit of artistic ambiance. It is Valentine's Day, and we have some pretty cool little matches for you. We And as you know, we don't choreograph as much as we used to. We don't do that. We have a limit, but this could go short, this could go long. These three matches, we have Carho Lung going against Barney Green, who is the number one contender for the first blood belt. Which, by the way, this whole Valentine's Day show today, folks, is first blood extreme rules all the way, because this is the bloody hell Valentine's Day special. Oh, we also have Tony Morrison going against Levi Bliss. We haven't seen him compete yet, so this is going to be one hell of a debut. And we didn't decorate the arena. We, we got the show all decorated up. And there's Carl Lung, dressed up nice for Valentine's Day. He seems to think he's every woman's wrestler. It seems every woman is his favorite wrestler. Whether it's the boss, the bliss, or Lita. He can't seem to make up his mind. But here he is. He's trapped in a contract that he uh, reneged on. Talking the, talking the shit that, you know, nobody helps him out. You know, we were helping him out, and then he abandoned us and pretty much snubbed us. But he's dressed up nice for Valentine's Day, folks. Happy Valentine's Day, Carho. Good luck. Because you're going against a heavyweight first blood contender. He beat Valley Castle in a match. And there's Barney. Dressed up in his nice Valentine's Day duds. Barney Green, he has a chance to beat Valentine. And he has beaten Valentine once. So, who's to know what's going to happen here? And all these matches are first blood, folks. No pitting, no submitting. First one to draw blood, folks. I don't know how strong Carho is in that. He's been busted open, and he's busted open. He is uh, looking quite a fight against Jeffrey Albright, the current XPXW champion. No, I don't think so. There goes the bell. Oh! Came at him, but it didn't knock him down. Oh, and he missed that completely. Carho, meet the wall. Meet the hard place and the rock. Oh, yes, he's going right for the soft spot. His head. Barney beat Valley Castle once in a regular match. Imagine him going in a first blood match. Who would be busted open for? Oh, he's just going at that head. Lord knows Carho has a soft head. Who? Barney taking a little bit of a break. Oh! Uh oh! Oh, that didn't bust him open. That's surprising. Barney is merciless. Carho is hopeless. Oh, wow. He just rallied that one up. And, oh. It's bonking. He could break him open at any point. Carho has put up very little resistance, but he's a little waif of a boy. 
Oh, there's extreme rules outside of the mat. Oh, wow. He can totally get busted. Oh, wow. He's just going for that head. He can bust open someone by accident, but we all know that's the whole goal of this place. Oh, my goodness. He's just trying to break him open from inside. One good wallop and he did it! Outside the ring, boom! And it was, a lot of it was outside the ring, but if you want to bust someone open, you don't do it in a soft ring and uh oh. Was this it? Oh, he's setting him up for and pa pow! And Barney Here's Green. Your winner. That's the man who may just become first blood champion. We now move on to the second match. This is Bally Castle. The current first blood champion going against the rowdy, the man, Noah Amster. And this is where Ballet Castle has to get some momentum himself as uh, Barney has just set the bar. Even though Ballet Castle has the belt, but the problem with first blood, folks, is there's no way to really cheat at it. It's all extreme, and first blood is first blood. And Noah Amster, he needs to make a name for himself. We've seen one video from him and not much else. And uh oh. Got pretty grim in here. And there is Noah Amster, the man. The following contest is an extreme rules match. Making his way to the ring from New York, New York. Weighing in at 203 pounds, Noah Batman, the amateur. And there he is, he's right ready to go. He is full of piss and vinegar. But is he ready to take on the first blood champion, Ballycastle? Who, if you saw his promo, wow, I'm in love with that stuff. No, Amster was made short work of by the silent killer, but he is a former champion, world champion. And there he is with that such a unique belt. A belt he that is his opponent from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 301 pounds, the extreme, extreme champion, the superstar champion. He is the man who wears the belt that tells you the only thing that's going to happen at the end of his match is blood. If it's a title match. If it's not, it might be a first blood. And as we know, it is a first blood match. Extreme first blood, folks. Valley Castle likes it no other way. But it is non-title right now. Well, he's bigger than Noah. Oh, and he got the first leg up on Noah. Oh, first blood. Let's see what happens. He just let him throw him in that turnbuckle because he likes to he likes to give him a chance.
Ooh. Ooh. Ballet Castle. Ooh. Ballet Castle. Ooh. Not really fighting back. I don't know. What's he doing here? He's uh, having a little bit of trouble starting up. And Noah actually having some luck with him. He's working on the head and the body and the back. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And oh, Valley Castle. Finally getting into the action. Oh, oh, that hurts. That hurts. I'll bet that hurts. And oh. <coughs> And picks him up. And, uh oh Boiling. Hung him up to dry. Now he's giving him some spine shots. Well, just the one. And, uh oh This is where it gets bloody. Starting off with something light. A little bit of fiber. Oh! Oh my goodness, Ballet Castle is quite the act. Oh! Now is he going to use that hardware? Oh, well. Oh, and he got clotheslined by the man. Thrown against that turnbuckle. Oh! My goodness. Noah is having some unusual luck here. And still can't draw blood. And oh, just using that kendo stick as a bad foundation. I don't know. Oh, I thought he was going to try a submission move, which would have been pointless. Ballet Castle trying to get up. Oh, the Ballet Castle. Oh! That will open you up, but it didn't this time. He needs to grab that kendo stick and do something with it. Oh, he's got a comeback. I think that's a comeback. I don't know what that is. Oh my goodness, coming at him with all kinds of sh arsenal. Uh oh, what's he going to do with it? Oh, stunner! He lands on the kendo stick, but he hasn't used the kendo stick. And oh my goodness, he's coming up with some good hard shots. What is he going to do? Oh my goodness. Is he going to succeed in this? Oh my goodness! Oh no! Oh, and now the hardware! No, oh, he got rid of it. Well, that's not too clever. No, oh, wait a minute. Oh, is he? He's going for it again, I guess. No, he doesn't want it. Is he daring him? Oh, and he uh, lost focus. No answer the man. Oh! Mm -hmm. Oh, Valley Castle in the ring. 
quite the unusual move and oh almost rolled out but he rolled back in Noah Amster oh has had quite a lot of control in this match Uh oh, what's he gonna do now? Oh, and he gets him with a move like that. <coughs> but no answer, getting tired. Grinding away at that skull. And he's. Still can't seem to open him up. He is going at him and over and over and over. What's he gonna do? Oh, throws him over and out over the ropes. Smacks him upside the head, but lost his balance. Oh, Ballet Castle. Uh oh, oh, oh no. Oh, big kneel down power bomb outside the ring. And now what's he gonna do? Uh oh, oh, he tried to do what uh, Barney did, but it didn't quite uh, happen right away. And a big old cutter. He's still not opened up. Nope, he gets thrown in by uh, Amster the man. And Russian leg sweep. Wow, Amster's lasted a long time here. Oh, and Ballet Castle goes back down. Oh, getting his leg. Wow. A good clothesline. He's putting up a fight, folks. Trying to bust him up in the good old fashioned way. And no answer. Going to bust him open on the inside. Maybe get some internal bleeding going on. Blood is blood, folks. We might need to give uh, Carho to no Amster to give him a win, maybe. I don't know. But he might get one over on Ballet Castle. This is non-title. This is just about momentum. Oh, I'm getting an elbow to the spine. But oh, Ballet Castle comes back. Oh, no Amster caught him. Oh, the clothesline from behind. Oh, and down he goes with a crucifix suplex, maybe? I don't know. Uh oh. Oh, stunner cutter outside the ring, but nothing happened yet. Against the post. Oh my goodness. <coughs> oh my goodness. Against the post. And here you see where it all went down. Boom! That post was the Here's most. Your winner, the superstar.
Well, Malik Hazel, you got some momentum, and it's all about outside the ring. Now you both have a strategy. Now, this should be a very interesting main event, folks. Tony Morrison, who is a solid machine and a giant, is going against the debut of Levi Bliss, the Hunter King. Noah Amster's good friend, as far as we know. That's what Noah Amster's been telling us. And uh, we will see what this newcomer who has not made a promo as of yet, or maybe we missed it. Sometimes things happen. We know Noah Amster didn't make one that was visible on the page. So this is going to be one hell of Valentine's Day finale. And then move on to the rest of the weekend, folks, where things are going to happen. With the ladder match. Levi Bliss looks like a young man, so he wanted to make a name for himself. The only way to do that is to go against the bigger, the better, the better. And I'm sure Tony Morris is looking forward to taking on this boastful young man in Levi Bliss, the Hunter King. Oh, spooky. He is quite a scary individual. He looks serious. So he's containing his energy. Maybe something to keep in mind. And who gets busted open first here? I don't know. I don't have a preference myself. I'm not going to bet money on this. He is suited up to fight. He's, uh, people are kind of evenly matched in stats, go figure. But maybe the size will be the difference here. And there goes the bell, and whoa! Came flying at him, but it didn't do much to him. Oh! That's what he got for his trouble. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's just kicking him and booting him. Levi King's got to get uh, into the game. Oh. They're evenly matched, folks. Just a question of opportunity. Oh, and he rolled out of the way. Oh, and he ran right into that. Uh oh. Oh. Boot in the back and he went down. And oh, the hunter, of course, has to get his hunting gear. And oh, he goes big. Oh! And he got him first. But he didn't bleed, he didn't bust him open yet. But he's a thinker. And just, oh, just rat a You might not knock him down. If he just busts him open, that's all he needs to do. But we will see what happens here.
He's just working on him and working on him. Aaron picks him up slowly. Tony Morrison. Oh my goodness, that could have busted him open right there. The Hunter King working over Tony Morrison. A redwood can still be chopped down, folks. It just takes a little longer than most trees. Oh! Oh, Tony Morrison needs to get some hardware going. Oh, excuse me. The Hunter King is right all over him. Oh! Neck breaker over there, and oh, stepping on his hand. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! He's holding on to him like a dog with a dead duck. In his mouth, I should say. This is some unbelievable action. This is... This is... Wow. Oh, what's he doing here? Oh, no. That didn't open him up either. Oh, my God! Levi Bliss just drew blood, but what else would you expect from a Hunter King? That was a potential buster opener right there. Hunter King just surprised Tony Morrison. I don't know. These guys might be meeting again. That depends on what they want. The table didn't do it. But yeah, eventually he busted him open. Levi Hunter King, victorious.